Beloved people of God in the Diocese of Grimstown, whom I love, I leave you with the words of Christ. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Now remain in the love of Jesus Christ.
okay, okay.
light will manifest on the Vicar uh, General. And then our Bishop Executive Officer will sit next to the Bishop to be closest to him for him to be able to give the directions. Then the rest of the uh, seats we can occupy as free, freely, let me just say. I do trust that everything is clear. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. May I please uh, invite the Dean Emeritus elect to pray for us? <coughs> let us pray. In the name of God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Loving Lord, thank you for the gift of this day and this time, this sacred space, this sacred moment in our lives, the sacred moment for, this, for the life of this diocese and for our bishop. We pray your blessing on this act of worship, on our bishop as he presides and preaches, on each one of us here. Come Holy Spirit of God, move upon us, move amongst us, move in us and through us we pray. In the name of Christ. Amen.
and Mama Nomedo. And as we come to hear God's word and also to feed His holy mysteries of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, a special welcome is to our visitors who are here today, coming from near and far, but in particular to the First Lady of the Province, the Anglican Church of Southern Africa, Mama Lungi, who is around with us, and coming in her own right and capacity as the family friend to the Bishop and Mama Lungi. But most of all, she is here to represent the Metropolitan of the Anglican Church of Southern Africa and the Archbishop of Cape Town, uh, Dr. Tabo Mahoba. So you, we welcome you, Mama. Let us give her a huge, huge, huge clap. <laughs> so welcome to the Vicar Generals. We do have uh, the Vicar General from the Diocese of uh, Katamba, the Bishop's Executive Officer from the Diocese of Port Elizabeth, uh, and your spouses. We welcome the Vicar General uh, elect, which the Bishop will tell you all about, of our diocese and his, and his spouse, to the former Dean of our Cathedral, uh, the Cathedral of St. Michael and St. George, who is here. Uh, to see our bishop uh, being sent off, uh, the, the Reverend Dr. Andrew Hunter is amongst us, so welcome Zolibe. Let us just say, Ah, Zolibe. <laughs> to the members of the Cathedral chapter, to our honorable ge uh, guests. I have here, or what we have here with us, the Honorable uh, Patek Ibe Olomisa representing the people from Anguli. The Honorable uh, Bantu Olomisa is here with us as well. Members from the judiciary, we do have here with us Justice Jolwana and his spouse, Justice Silwa and his spouse to Mama Nomedo to the clergy spouses, my dear brothers and sisters, my fellow clergy colleagues, to each and every one of us, the diocesan family, I would like to extend a word of welcome as we are gathered here in the presence of God for this farewell service in honor of our bishop. But most of all, I would like to welcome our Reverend Father in God, the Reverend, uh, Right Reverend uh, uh, Bishop Ebenezer Nkali, and Mama Nonedo, who are here with us today. It was in September the 20th, and 2008, when we were here in this Cathedral Church for the ordination and consecration and enthronement of our bishop. So we are here today to say goodbye to him as our leader, as the shepherd of the flock in this diocese, as he lays down his staff to lead today. So we come here with mixed feelings. We come here giving thanks to God for our bishop's life, for our bishops' ministry and service amongst us. I know we have not started the service yet, but let us give our bishop and Mama Nunaito a big clap. <laughs> and as I welcome them, I welcome his family, which is coming from near and far. I trust that as we are coming in, we were given the orders of service, we will follow the order of service as it is. And I invite us to respond where it is written in bold print. May we please stand. The Lord be with you. 
my dear brothers and sisters, we are here as the people of God, drawn together by His Spirit and longing for His Word. We are here to praise the name of the Lord, to share the glorious news of God's grace, to pray for our needs and the pains of the world, and to rejoice in His love and peace. We respond when it is written in Book to Praise. There is a time for everything. And this is for every A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to stay down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embrace. A time to let go and a time for God. Ye born gently in God's sin.
advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. Let us therefore call to mind it and confess our sins.
נעשה לו פרי, נעשה פולר. הוא היה שטחי שלא רואים עושים את כל פלילאו. נבא, נחמו יכול פרי. הם נמצאים פה בונה פרקת. אמן. First reading, second from the book of Kings. First book of Kings, chapter 8, we read from verse 22. Standing in front of the altar of the Lord in the presence of the whole assembly of Israel, Solomon spread out his hands towards the heaven and said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth beneath, keeping covenants with your servants and showing them constant love while they continue faithful to you with all their heart. You have kept your promise to your servant David, my father. By your deeds, this day you have fulfilled what you said to him in words. Now, therefore, Lord God of Israel, keep this promise of yours to your servant David, my father, when you said, you will never want for a man appointed by me to sit on the throne of Israel. If only your sons look to their ways and walk before me as you have done. God of Israel, let the promise which you made to your servant David, my father, be confirmed. But, can God indeed dwell on earth? Heaven itself, the highest heaven, cannot contain you. How much less this house that I have built, yet attend my Lord, my God, to the prayer and the supplication of your servant. Listen to the cry and the prayer which your servant makes before you this day, that your eyes may ever be on this house, night and day, this place of which you have said, my name will be there, hear your servants when he prays towards this place, hear the supplication of your servant and your people Israel when they pray towards this place. Hear in heaven your dwelling, and when you hear, forgive. Hear the word of the Lord.
your potential match for a season to be like. So from now on, we regard the we regard no life from the Lord and from the Lord. Though we want to abide in Christ in this way, we do so no love. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, we will be a child. The old one is God, the new one is God. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself in Christ, and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people sin against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors. As though God were making his appeal to us, we implore you on Christ's behalf. Be reconciled to God. God made him who had to who had no sin to be saved for, uh, for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Hear the word of the Lord.
Peter God the Son and Savior and Jesus God the Holy Spirit our sanctifier, sustainer our advocate, the Lord and the giver of life Amen, Amen. May we be seated
מקומות של המחסירים, של לחי מרקדים, כאן של יוד גילד, של אפנס, של וינסנט, אוותה של פרייר, של פרנפס, ושל סטיבל. Greetings to the house of the traditional leaders, especially on course of Patagila Rodomesa from Kandwale, uh, my own chief. And to Rukeda with General Bantu Rodomesa, uh, also from Kandwale, they have come to fetch me. Our <laughs> They are not alone. They have come with Judge Zirwa and Mrs. Zirwa uh, from Umtata and also Judge Jorwan and Mrs. Jorwan from Cambodia. They say, no, we are going to walk with us. Therefore, we are not leaving you behind. The greetings to them as well. We also uh, greet the business sector, uh, members of government that are here. I've got my own personal wagon, which I will reveal at the end, of the end of the service. Mazui Yako is my son, we grew together and he grew in front of me and uh, he is my personal one. I see him. Uh, I'm so happy that he could make time in his busy schedule, especially at this moment. Uh, we also greet my family, especially Mama Nometo, 46 years in the marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, we, Got married in 1977, and then 79, we went to college. We were just two years old in the college. But even in the courtship, she said, I said, Dad, there's no money in the ministry. You know that? And she said, Yes, I know. Well, she was a, a, a member of the Gates Guild to the Methodist Church of Southern Africa. <laughs> And uh, she said, I bet Salama. Salama. And then I said, Salama, I value, I do not know what to say. There is no other person I could have known. She did a lot. in our fundraising, we were able to buy the oracle 
uh, which belongs to the tabs. So then we started to use the tabs in there. So when I greet my mind, I greet all my family. Uh, my family is big. I think all palms are on a bed, I have full sun. I have full sun. And then there's uh, also the Charlie family, what shapes? As a no As a no So it's about, uh, I can't finish it. I think our family makes about 25 uh, cells. So if I can touch them, uh, I can waste a lot of time. There's also the Mangas family, there's also the Beta family. Uh, it's quite a huge one. I'm a Allah. So we greet the Dyson family, all the 57 purposes of this diocese. And also the Dyson of Mbasha, Katamba, and Mchata, and Port Elizabeth. And the Georgia presence today and those who are still with us today. And all those who come from Cape Town and other times, he says, uh, in the province. Uh, we greet all the political parties and uh, especially those who lead those parties. Uh, yesterday we were with General Banto of Mesa the leader of UGM. And, uh, and so I had to excuse myself around about half past 11. And uh, so we had a great time remembering uh, our lifetime. I greet every person in this farewell service of Grandstone Times, which is doing it for us in thanksgiving to God for the ministry and our life together in this uh, 21 years, six years as Archdeacon of King William Sound and 15 years as Bishop of Christ. So when Bishop David Russell recruited me into Christ, I did 22 years in that uh, as a ordained priest. So it's almost a celebration of 43 years serving the Lord Christ and His people. It is a privilege from God the Father, of our Lord Jesus Christ and from Christ Jesus Himself for us to come together on this ninth Sunday after Pentecost in this service, which is say farewell to us. And we also say, the Sadehavu Kenai, as under the books. In the words of St. John Patmos, I say to you all, to him who loves us and has set us free from our sins by his blood and has made us to be a kingdom and priest to serve his God and our God, to serve his Father and our Father, to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I've chosen my text in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 14. The, the Gospel has said that, did I not make a mistake to have only one verse in the Gospel? <laughs> I said, no, it's not a mystery. It's just John chapter 1, verse 14. We need you to remember that those were our last words to you. St. John the Evangelist shows and explains to us the Word became flesh and made his dwelling amongst us. We have seen his glory the glory of one and only Son who came from the Father, 
full of grace and truth. When they say, What are you doing? 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 And the word became flesh and tainted amongst us, and we beheld his glory as of the only begotten Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. This text is preceded by the prayer of King Solomon. When he was dedicating the temple of Jerusalem, uh, after it was built by the people of Israel, the people were generous in the Others brought gold, others brought copper, other, others brought trees to come and build this church of Jerusalem, which has got 39 doors. So as King Solomon was standing next to the sanctuary, opening his arms and dedicating uh, uh, this temple, he prayed and said, Now, God of Israel, let your word that you promised your servant David, my father, come true. But will God really dwell on earth? The heavens, even the highest heaven, cannot be contained by this church. How much less by this temple that will be? Your glory fills the heavens and the earth and under the earth, because you are God who is heaven. But he says, God, you have this tendency of reducing it and enter somebody's heart, and you enable this person to do greater things. Yes, you reduce yourself and enter to the womb of the blessed person. And Mary gave birth to the living word, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. He says, It is not my wisdom, but Lord, it is you who have entered the hearts of the people of Israel and filled them with your glory and you have given them power to build this beautiful church. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you have kept your word which you gave to my father that my father will not build the church but I will build it. So when it says, we saw uh, the word of God became flesh and dwelt amongst us, we beheld his glory. It is that same glory that King Solomon is speaking about, which cannot be contained in the temple, but God can reduce it and allow you to have his glory in your heart. by the witness of St. John. The Baptist, who says, the one that comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. Those that were born, and now we don't follow that nature. Ah.
The three wise men that brought gold and frankincense and other gifts, when they met Jesus in a humble house in Bethlehem, they saw that this baby is full of God. He is love, and he is true love. And the evangelist through this verse of St. John chapter 14 is showing me and you how God entered our space and time. And how God entered our humanity on earth. Leonardo Boff in his book has written Jesus Christ in Barreto as the living word. He says this living word belongs entered our space and our flesh on the earth. In order that the same Jesus may call us into his life with the word, so that he can plant that word in our lives. Hallelujah. So and we also have the living word in our lives. And if you read Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14, it reads like this. Since the children have flesh and blood, Jesus Christ too said in our humanity, so that by his death, he might break the power of him who holds the power of death. And that is the death. And free those who all their lives were held in slavery by their fear of death. For surely it is not angels Jesus has, but he is happy the descendants of Abraham. For this reason, he had to make like them. For this Jesus to be fully human in every way, in order that he might become merciful of what we are going through in life. And as a faithful priest in the service of God, he might die for us on the cross and through the blood of the atonement he may brought out, brought out our sins and make us free. But Jesus had to suffer and become that man that takes away the sins of the world so that we are washed through his blood. This shows clearly in the fullness of time, God identified himself with humanity and reached us in our human nature to transform our human nature through the word that the word may convert us so that we may surrender and allow the living word to enter our lives. It brings me to the change of mind, the change of actions, the change of character, the change of doing things that we do as Jesus does. And be and be restored back to God's image as God created and so that all was good. And St. John, when he goes to chapter 3, verse 16, he enjoys writing this gospel and saying, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So that was the good news. 
And St. John in chapter 14, verse 23, he writes, If anyone loves me, is what Jesus says, and keep my teaching and my commandments and obey them, my Father will love and we will come to them in the Spirit and make our home in them. So if you obey the teachings of Jesus and the commands of Jesus and you accept those principles in your life, then the Father of Jesus will love you. And then Jesus will go, go to the Father and ask for the Holy Spirit so that Jesus and the Sovereign God they come in the Spirit and enter your life, the Incarnation, and make residence in your body. Hallelujah. You are now to, are you allowing your body to be the residential place of God? Yes. Where the Trinity dwells. The Trinity is no more dwelling in, in a temple that is built by human hands. But you are the church because God is residing in me and in you. The word of God became flesh and dwelt amongst us. It's not enough just for Jesus to enter the life of the blessed person. But we too need to open up so that the word will come in and convert us and transform us to be better people. And Henderson goes said, you are not only a residential place of God, but you are the tabernacle of God. You are the nation of God. My heart and your heart becomes the sitting room of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus. And you have to relax with this Lord. I think we see that Tate was in the window. Or Tate was there. Lord, there is a soul who says, Holy Spirit, mold me, make me, make me to be like you. God is like a potter. But he will cut a little door with this boy and make a horse. And then with this way. And this boy is a, 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 a sort of changes this cow into an ox. Change this ox into an elephant. He plays around with him. And we need to relax in the hands of God. And God made us what He wants us to be. But He can't make that when He went us outside us. We need to accept the word. But through our faith, by believing in the word, and allow the word to do the transformation in our lives. That is the mystery of the incarnation. And then in the second chapter, uh, Luke 23, John is uh, 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 encouraging those uh, persecuted Christians. He said, you know, by baptism, God has made you kings. You are royal by baptism. And that confirmation to be filled by the Holy Spirit. You are kings. And St. Peter would say, you are a royal priesthood. So the laity are a royal priesthood through their baptism and confirmation and believing in Jesus the living God. So God 
God in Christ Jesus, the living word that became flesh, has made you priests. <coughs> Not as the ordained priesthood, which were also a real priesthood, but in the ordained, where we are made demons, we are made priests, we are made bishops and archbishops. In this church, others are made popes, but all that is the royal priesthood of the ordained. What I like with John in Barnabas is that when we die, we will, we will rule with Christ in the eternal eating, in the eschatological encounter in the wedding feast of the Lamb, and even in the inauguration of the new Jesus. So our life, no pasia pain, no pasia fat, si pinelin kose, si fene kose, si fugelen kose, si pinelamata sa onke, ikose kolo madena. We are not ashamed, That has called us to be deep ones in the church of God. That word that was made flesh. It is that same word that has ordained us. We are deacons and priests and bishops in the Messianic community, in the community of the redeemed. And in the community of the new covenant, we are in that Messiah community made by the living word, Jesus Christ. It is that word when Canon Sarkic says, Jesus is the fifth gospel, the gospel of the land, that has called us and made us his priests and his bishops, not of the Old Testament, but of the New Testament. There's a hymn and choir of the early movies, and I could read to one of the people who are in the world. I sing now, but I don't know what I'm doing. We are the priests of Jesus in the New Covenant. We are going to be there for the ancient time, and we are in the world. The time to <laughs> I like what St. John says, this word of God made flesh was full of grace, meaning if I accept it in my life, I become full of grace. It was full of truth. It means if I welcome it, I become free. And St. Augustine writes that humanity will remain devastated until you come to this stupid word made fresh. And it's only in Jesus Christ that you will find rest. Your soul will rest when you accept Jesus as the Lord and master. He is doing the transformation and making us new beings in him. I was so humbled when you connected to me in the first part. Uh, I felt empty, Mama Lord. I said, Lord, how am I going to serve you by serving the people who trust me so much. Show me the way. I had to sit for a number of three days trying to tremble why 
made in the first ballot. But when you go to other elected assemblies, they even go to the second tier or ten tiers, hopefully not the ten tiers, but ten ballots. But the Lord assures us that you can't carry this yourself. It's an enormous task. And you can't carry it without me. The living word that has called you. And I come from, I'm a descendant of the oppressed community of South Africa, 340 years of oppression. Whether I can have big names of uh, my Lord Bishop and that, but the truth is that you are coming from that system of oppression. And therefore, I resolved that I'll try by all means not to add oppression, especially on the black people. And apply too much law on them. But it's to love everybody with the love of Jesus Christ. And to work with you and draw you to that same love of our Lord Jesus. You know, when I was out of college, uh, I, I looked at this girl who has been pregnant before marriage. Then the priest would put this girl in front of the congregation and say, recite something to her. And she recites this something to her. That is better than will be. You are not conducting your life right. Wow. And I tried in this uh, service and assistance yeah, to, to the schools. The one I was asking, where is the boyfriend? That's hammering this poor work here as if the child is just made by one person. And from there I decided that if such things does happen, then it would be me and this girl in the sun, and we would invite the boyfriend in the sun and try to listen to the child is this. How is this child going to be? And that makes that our life easier. Therefore, I pray that I, 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 I agree with the words of Rampena uh, Rampena when he said South Africa is a sick nation and he believes that the ordained graduates will bring healing to the nation of South Africa. I believe to what my uh, guest speaker at Rose University in my graduation who said, South Africa is like a volcanic mountain. It is burning. But he believes that the graduates will put the fire off and assist the people to live. But to us is to call them to Jesus where they will find rest. And they will also put off the fire together with Jesus. I have received you from the hands of Christ. The chief shepherd. 
and he has given me you in love. So as Christ has loved you and given you to me, I have loved you. And now I'm leaving you in the hands of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he will hand it to you over to the Archbishop and over uh, to the new uh, 15th Bishop of Versa. Thank you for loving us. I miss you in those obsessions, in those parishes, scattered all over our geographical area. And uh, uh, it's in every parish you live, it has got its own way of doing things. And I have, I have enjoyed that. <coughs> With the clergy, let us continue uh, to proclaim the gospel of peace. Fundamentum business, if I'm heard. Take the gospel of peace of Jesus Christ to all God's people in love. May the Lord bless you as a minister. Uh, uh, in my time, I'll be praying for you. May the Shekinah of God, that cloud that was over his be over grandson. No. as you pray for electing a new nation and making the glory of God fill your lives be full of grace and truth and move forward. To South Africans and Ukraine, Jesus is the answer. In Latin America, the Jesus fathers invited to the middle class into Bible studies and educated them with theologians like Leonardo, Leonardo Boff, with psychologists and anthropologists and psychiatrists to assist the nations because they have lost hope in the second ten years. And through that ministry, the people who have the eyes of Jesus and the heart of Jesus and the hands of Jesus and the body of Jesus and the feet of Jesus brought a new government that was forever for them and assisting Everybody. It's very painful when you hear a municipality that is not performing or an NEF or a CIFA or a CDC returning millions of funds and billions of funds to the treasure whilst the people suffer at the texture and, and in small places saying that these people are unable to meet the criteria of the business plan. I hope with those graduates who, are, who have retired that will join hands and see how can we assist God's people uh, on the ground and become an advocate for them. Fortunately, no one will say to me, I have the time to march down Oxford Street to the offices of SAFA and to the offices of NBA with the health notes in the name of Jesus Christ living so that our people can be there. Try to be born away and make a change where you are. To God be the glory, the power, and
and the majesty forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, our former dean needs no us. You know him very well. He has worked with us in this diocese in our 15 years of the Episcopal for 13 years. And I thank Archbishop Tavo who called him out of it to come to be dean in the Diocese of Christ. And when Archbishop Tavo asked me that uh, you are supposed to appoint your own team, what are you going to do with them? I said, we are all in this. What's your team and his mind? And when Andrew was about uh, in 10 years, in other times he says, teams are changed in 10 years. I said to him, can you stand on the I continue with you as out. Uh, Andrew has got an African heart. I think at the beginning of his ministry, he, he worked in the townships and the towns as well. And then his, in his marriage, a Makalubo, a ship was sort of. <laughs> it was dancing, dancing, <laughs> and when there was cold, <laughs> and uh, so uh, uh, and he spoke some Corsa and uh, knew our language Corsa and uh, a, a, a thinker, very intelligent, and uh, he did his. Uh, Canon Law Society's Masters, Canon Law, in Cardiff, flying out every time to cut. And then he did his doctorate at Nelson Mandela University. Life is about relationships. I want just to add to that, that in the 13 years, as Andrew is my number, was my number two. We were one in heaven. And he was wise enough to say, Bishop, let us look at this thing again so that it does not catch us at some stage. But we were one, we were constantly one another. There was a time when this Makanga came in through the Gazette and it was still in the courts. And then I saw in his letterhead the dean of Makanga. I said, hey, Edward, remove this uh, Makanga. You are dean of Kremsa. And he changed that immediately. So we uh, had our own weaknesses and strengths, own weaknesses and strengths. But we were together in Christ, committed to the Lord, and the Lord was work. And we work very quickly with Him. Now, normally, when you have done great work in a particular times, a chapter honors you with something. And uh, we, we, we do hear Archbishop Emeritus about Archbishop uh, Emeritus, but, but what is he going to be? And uh, with the Bishop's executive officer, Lucifer, we went to do some research in Australia and other countries as well. That's uh, how are we going to honor the Son of Africa? And some of us. And uh, we got it. I also phoned Santana Bay to get his wisdom as a senior official progress. But we, we learned that there are ten inheritors of uh, that particular diocese. 
I will allow the bishop's executive officer to read to the citation of chapter. The Ben Reverend Dr. Andrew John Hanna was born on the 3rd of June 1957. Dr. Hanna was born in Peter Marisberg and educated at the University of Cape Town, St. Paul's College, Grahamstown, the University of the Western Cape, Cardiff University, and Nelson Mandela University, where he obtained his doctorate in April 2019. Before being appointed Dean of Grahamstown, he was Rector of St. Peter, the Fisherman, Port Bay. The Archbishop of Cape Town instituted Dr. N. Handa as the Dean of St. Michael and St. George Cathedral, Grahamstown, on the 9th February 2008. He was subsequently appointed Vicar General within two weeks in office as the dean, and had to coordinate the selection process for the province. The Cathedral Chapter of Grahamstown unanimously agreed in honoring the very Reverend Dr. Edward Hunter, the title of Dean Emeritus of Grahamstown, in recognition of his contribution to the Christ Church true churchmanship and boundless life ministry. Dr. Engel Handa had been a flexible Anglican and he espoused the Anglican tradition. Locally, he accommodated the diverse Rhodes University family with ease. He also set the Cathedral of St. Michael and St. George at par with the church nationally in terms of standards and norms. He further set the cathedral as the metropolitan church, as tourists from all over the world were accommodated through the use of the multiplicity of languages used in our worship. He espoused the values of Ubuntu. To cite one example, he mentored a cleaner which he found at the cathedral and encouraged her to study and she obtained a diploma which she subsequently assumed a position of an administrator. Wow. His love of education made Bishop Ebenezer to request him to represent him at St. Andrew's College and the College of Transfiguration. <laughs> this is our daughter, daughter Eno Hanna. Let the oath be taken. Let the oath be taken. I, Andrew John Hunter, do swear that I will pay due and non convenience to the Bishop of Bishop of the Diocese of Bairdstown and his successors, so help me out. And let the declaration be made. I, Andrew John Hunter, do hereby declare that I consent and submit to be bound 
in terms of Article 21 of the Constitution of the Anglican Church of Southern Africa, by the rules and regulations relating to my office, which have heretofore been made, or which from time to time may be made by the Diocesan Synod of the Diocese of Grahamstown, or by the, by the Provincial Synod of the Anglican Church of Southern Africa. It is clear that I will faithfully and truly execute the office of Emeritus Dean within the Diocese of Grahamstown, to the best of my skill and knowledge, and for the furtherance of the work of God. Anglican Church of Southern Africa, Diocese of Grahamstown, Dean Emeritus, Ebenezer by divine permission, Bishop of the Diocese of Grahamstown, from the Lapa to the Christ Temple, John Hunter, to the ritual in the name of the Lord, we hereby grant to you in this fidelity, morals, and ethic, sound doctrine and diligence we do fully qualified our commission to exercise the office of Emeritus Senior Priest and Dean in the Times of Grandson. From the date of this, our commission, in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution of the Charter of the Times of Grandson, we hereby reserve to ourselves and our successors full power and authority to promote this commission and all here in contained. Whenever we shall see just cause, so to do, we command you to the grace of Almighty God, given under our hand and seal at this uh, 30th July of the Lord 2023, and in the 30th year, in, in the 15th year of our consecration. And we are anoint you with this present oil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. is a pain. Is about a second name and a second. Is a woman for work on the humble. May God Himself in Christ Jesus in the Spirit anoint you inwardly and give you good health. Continue as His Son and serve Him, serving Jesus the Father and the Spirit and His people throughout the world. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the God of peace who brought again from the dead, Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect 
and two things that are missing to you. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and the family and upon care the support you, the richer than you call you, and your hope in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So we have in this diocese, so someone who would visit us from time to time as our emeritus. Let us welcome him with a round of applause. There's a license for uh, the Reverend Dr. Claire, his wife, and uh, his wife, uh, ah, no, so no, 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 so she would say she's home affairs, the Catholic And she's a social worker by profession and a place and a theology. She was looking after the good shepherd school and also the young people at Rose University and in this cathedral. And after us as well, shaping the team and, and the sub team of citizens at that time, shaping all of us as all of us. So we, we as chapters of French Church, we have awarded to those who are here an honorary canon on the race council in the diocese of Paris. She will walk with each other when she comes and visits in this place. Let's welcome her with a round of applause. Then we just want to say something.
And over those years, I saw such quality come to meet with us. And in due time, many of them to be ordained. Such quality, such caliber, such energy, um, such a great love for God. It was for me always a privilege to have that responsibility. Thank you for giving that to me. And for the joy of, of being here, of coming home to the second home of mine today, and uh, for proceeding this honor, uh, both for me and on behalf of, of Claire. Thank you very, very much. May God bless you in your retirement. I've been retired for a month. It's good. I can, I can testify to my good retirement. So, uh, blessings on you and on the and all the blessings for you and your family. God bless and thank you. Church of Southern Africa, 
appointment of a Vicar General. When time of Cecil Macola, by divine providence as Bishop and Metropolitan on the Anglican Church of Southern Africa, to our beloved in Christ, Mubele Venya, the Venerable Reverend in the Diocese of Grandstown in the Anglican Church of Southern Africa. We greet you in the name of the Lord, whereas the seer of Grandstown will be vacant as the Right Reverend Ebenezer Kani is retiring on the 1st of August 2023. In accordance Canon 22, Section 1 of the Constitution and Canons of the Anglican Church of Southern Africa, requires us to appoint a Vicar General to represent us and henceforth specifically to execute Canon 4.8C, among other ministries. Now, therefore, we hereby appoint you, Obed Adrian, in whose fidelity, prudence, and diligence we do fully confide to our Vicar General for as long as it is needful and in our state and by our authority to minister the spiritualities of the task of grandson and to maintain discipline thereof according to the constitution and canons of the Indian Church of Southern Africa and the acts of the diocese of Grandstar. We grant you our full license and authority to exercise all powers and rights appertaining, appertaining to the said office of Vicar General, given under our hand and seal on this 1st of August in the year of our Lord 2023 in the 21st year of our consecration and our translation, the 16th. and let the declarations be made. And let's hear what our church believes in. The Anglican Church of Southern Africa is one part of one holy Catholic and apostolic church worshiping the one true God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit it professes the faith uniquely revealed in the Holy Scriptures, held by the primitive church, summed up in the creeds and affirmed by the undisputed general councils, to which the 39 articles of religion, the Book of Common Prayer and the ordering of bishops, priests and deacons bear witness. In the declaration you are about to make, Will you affirm your loyalty to this inheritance of faith as your inspiration and guidance under God in bringing the grace and truth of Christ to this generation and making him known to those in your care? And will you consent to be bound by the laws of this church? I, Bobele Nyana, now about to be licensed Vicar General of the Diocese of Grahamstown, do solemnly make the following declaration. I declare my belief in the faith which is uniquely revealed in the Holy Scripture, held by the primitive church, summed up in the creed and affirmed by the undisputed general council, to which the 39 articles of religion, the Book of Common Prayer, and the ordering of bishops, 
priests and deacons bear witness. I affirm my loyalty to this inheritance of faith as my inspiration and guidance under God in bringing the grace and truth of Christ to this generation and making it known to those in my care. Furthermore, I declare that in public prayer and administration of the sacraments, I will use only the forms of service which are authorized or allowed by local authority, and that I consent to be bound by all the laws and canons of the Anglican Church of Southern Africa, and by the acts of the Diocese of Grandstown. So help me God through Jesus Christ. Anglican Church of Southern Africa, mandate for the election of a diocesan bishop. We come to session hall by divine providence, Archbishop of Cape Town, Metropolitan of the Anglican Church of Southern Africa, to our beloved in Christ, the Right Reverend Ebenezer Nkane, I meet you in the name of the Lord. The Synod of Bishops approved the retirement of the Right Reverend Ebenezer Kali on 31st July 2023 as Bishop and Pastor of the Diocese of Bramstown. The Seer of the Diocese of Bramstown will be vacant on the 1st of August 2023. The September 2020 session of Provincial Standing Committee resolved that the elective assembly would be held by video conference. The AXA diocese were all in this instance. The Diocese of Christ the King granted special dispensation to COVID-19 in terms of Article 2 for Canon 4.8c to read 60 days instead of 80 days, and Canon 4.11a I to read 20 days instead of 40 days. We tap our system of order as we shall Cape Town and Metropolitan of England Church of Southern Africa, in terms of Canon 4 of the Constitution and Canons of the Province, do authorize you to summon the clergy and laity of your diocese who are entitled, in terms of the said Canon 4, to assemble on Saturday, the 18th November, 2023. And the two ensuing days, if necessary, at such time, as shall be appointed by yourself, and then they to elect or dedicate to others to elect on your behalf the next bishop of the Diocese of Bremston, a person of pure and holy life sound in the faith, apt to teach, fit to govern, and having a good report 
as well of those without as the church itself. In the meantime, we exhort you and the whole flock of Christ in the days of Christ. Endlessly to ask God that of his great mercy and goodness he will guide you to the choosing of one well fitted to promote the glory of his great name and advancement of his kingdom and to be a faithful shepherd and bishop of his church. To this end, we counsel all within the times to give themselves to prayer and fasting, as we shall not fail ourselves to do, so that being of one heart and of one mind and drawing near to God with one voice, we may obtain from Him. For feeling of this heart, the blessed gift of a ruler and a pastor, stayed by no fault, deserving no blame, but a post of Christ, accepted by the people, who shall by his life and doctrine witness truly for his Lord, exercise godly discipline, feed in the faith, and love the flock committed to his care and to let present its faultless before him whom he serves, one also who will cooperate in brother and sister in love and humility with his brethren and the bishops of the province and in a spirit of loyalty to the order and constitution of the church. May the Lord direct you by His Holy Spirit as in all things, so especially in this, with so nearly consensus glory and the well-being of the body of Christ. Given under our hands and seals, uh, this uh, uh, first of August, uh, 2023, in the year of our Lord 2023, in the 15th year of our consecration and translation, the 16th. Tower in horror. Himself and His Son Jesus anoint you inwardly with His grace as you take this task forward in His name. In course, is a good, is a good, is a good, is a good, is God of peace who brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, the shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect and do things that are pleasing to him, and be what Jesus wants you to be. It is together, we say, Unyana, 
Moya We have our Vicar General in the Diocese of Grahamstown, Mokleria Fenyan.
Division of Gifts, page 116, Liturgy 1989, and the service is also found in the, in the book of uh, the Oh, Lord. 
Lucas in the Mercedes is pressed to the left.
Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us rededicate our lives together to the Lord Jesus Christ, the living word that became flesh, that has called us into his body, into his kingdom, into his life, to share uh, with us his royal ordained priesthood, ordination and consecration, baptism and confirmation, in the Spirit by saying, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father,
my heart and calm and glow. In Afrikaans on the first dot sins. Yeah, I 
Thanks, Bishop, for your leadership. Thanks for your spirituality in this diocese. Thanks for your wisdom, your courage, your pastoral heart. Your pastoral heart. You have a very big heart. You have a very big heart and you are long suffering. And the Lord has carried you until this day. So thank you so much for all the 15 years of service in this diocese. Thank you very much. We have a lot to be thankful for. Thanks to you, Mama, you know, as I usually say, you are the steel leg of the mathematical compass, which enables the one that holds the lead pencil to do a perfect circle. If that leg is not stable, then there is no way that lead pencil can make a perfect circle. So thank you for your strength, thank you for your courage, thank you for your prayers. I also want to thank the whole family, the Italian and the Pantra family, and all extended members of the extended family that we that have graced this occasion today. I also want to thank the Lord Almighty. The Lord Almighty, who knows everything, who blesses all the plans that we have, who makes sure that they succeed. We thank him for being with the bishop and the mama and the family all these 15 years as the bishop of the diocese. As the curtain follows, and as the bishop prepares to leave, I have accepted this responsibility to leave the diocese, not because I believe I am worthy, but because I believe that it is God's will be And this is exactly what I wish I would be able to do and find that I do God's will. I am strengthened by verse 9 from the book of Joshua, the word from God that says, this is my command, be strong, be resolute, do not be fearful or discouraged. For wherever you go, the Lord is with you. Thank you very much. After the gentleman who will head over to me to make the next announcement.
because it's not far from here, it's just around the corner here. And the family, we have been uh, requested to ask the family to move to Bishop's Bond. That's where they have been catered for. And the congregation and all of us will go to St. George's Hall. I hope you all know where St. George's Hall is, where the offices, the capital offices are, and our offices. And all those who would like to share, to shake the hand with the bishop after the service, they can still do so at Bishop's Hall after they have gone to their various areas where they will be having a lifetime. I'm told or I've been advised as well that the servants have brought you Mokono Nguyenjo and Sombao a cake. I'm sure they want you to remember that day when you, when you met. So it's time for you to celebrate. Thank you very much. <coughs> Now, friends, we have come to the climax of the service where we are going to uh, do the commemoration and then also the laying down of the staff by our Reverend Father in God, Bishop Ebenezer. He has requested that we, we sing the hymn that is on page 19 of our order of service, uh, 281 and 2. Uh, it's 281 in Tosa and 217 in Ancient and Modern. May we please stand. Woman, woman.
be seated for the answer. Anyway, I knew that you would be. 
we'll find time and have a cup of coffee and a piece of cake elsewhere, somewhere, one day. Thank you for coming. You, you, you honored us. And Difuna Ukuti Ekaweni Lo Mama, better uses of Grahamstown. But, oh mama, abana kuye kanji ufiguwa. Denga chongo tobu. Bafunu kuti baya kutani. And ka ulapa. Inga sike uti ka ukutuka. Ufike kaya uti oh mama. The diocese of Christ. And I went a president who no Mama Wekosis, president of the Diocese of Cremstown. The Abona Kenya, if Mana Le Honor for Madame, the former form, the Alicenda Makulanda. But oh, Mama, Mandichi Kuwe, Sia Bulen, Gobukoba, a pet Uzo Tita, the city, farewell to the Bishop of the Diocese. Uzo Banuiti Sauba Nikamazu. Well done, and thank you very much for your presence in this sense. Oh, 
three times. As the minister poor we paint and the stranger on the way, we pray that you may see in each one of the face of Christ. We, we know, know that the Lord knows you as we walk through the good times in the bed. We pray that you may never lose sight of the shelter of God's loving arms. We know that God holds with us. As you ponder your decisions and wonder over the fruits of your lives, we pray that the peace of Christ may reign in your hearts. We know that God holds with us. Must tell us. We praise you and thank you, God of the journey, for our brother Ebenezer and sister Mama Nonaito, who are soon to leave us. We entrust them into your loving care, knowing that you are always a faithful traveler and companion on the way. May you shelter and protect Bishop Ebenezer, Mama Nonaito, and the family from all harm and anxiety. Grant them the courage to meet the future and the grace to let go into new life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 May I request that all chapter members send our friends in blessing and we request even other members from other dioceses who rise and stand in our place the Bishop and the Lord. And we bless them. Bishop Ebenezer and Mama Nama, may God bless you and hold you in his arms and shield you from all harm. Amen. We all say,
and the clergy. Thank you for the Tyson and family, for those who are in hospital, those who wanted to be here, the aged, and all of them. Lord, we pray for this diocese, give its resources and all what is needed to do your mission. And thank you, Lord, for all the people of the diocese and its leadership that have saved us from Amunoneto and Nabantua. We go out in their name with their prayers. Lord, to you be honor, glory, power, and majesty forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, chapter members. Thank you very much, Vicar General and um, the Bishop's Executive Officer from PE. Well, we've had the matching orders from the Bishop's Executive Officer, so we'll go according to what she has announced. Thank you very much.